Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tia, and today's video is on a tag. It's actually called Tantalizing Tag 2. Um, my subscriber and the person I'm subscribed to, Tan, hey Tan, what's up girl, what's up? She actually um, personally tagged me to do this video, and I feel so touched and so blessed. But actually, no, I am happy that she was able to um, tag me for this video. She tagged quite a bit of people, like I said, and me being included. So, um, I was very excited to do this tag because um, it's a lot of questions that I can pretty much answer. I did a, a YouTube tag as well because I saw her do the do the tag. She didn't personally tag me in that video, but I thought it was such a nice video to do that I went ahead and did it as well. So now, like I said, I've been personally tagged. So... Oh, also, if you have not seen the YouTube tag video that I've done, then please go take a look uh, when you get a chance, okay? Alright, so these are 12 questions that Tan actually uh, made up so she can get to know people better. She uh, did one last year, so this is the second one. So that's why she called it Tantalizing Tag 2. So these are 12 questions that she came up with. And I actually have them on my phone instead of... <laughs> instead of... Um, my paper or tablet so here we go here's the first question number one what is the scariest thing that has ever happened to you okay it's a few scary things that happened to me I'll name one because it was very recently and I can remember it very vividly and I hope I'll never have to go through it again um I was on my way to work and I had cranked up my car and I was leaving the place where I lived and I was getting ready to um cross over into the main street and when you cross over, it's just two lanes, one going one way, one going the other way. And um, it branches out into like four areas where you can turn left, right, go straight or whatever. But at this point in time where I was at, it was just one, 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 one direction here, one direction there. And there's a yellow part, but you have to really get out fast. You have to almost hope that there's nobody coming on the closest side to you to get to make it. If you can't make it all the way over. So as I was getting ready to cross over. To get to the main. The other part of the street. My car cut off. Right there in the yellow part. And I was just like oh my god. And I was like calm. I was like oh, Joe come on you gotta come 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 get me. Come get me hurry up. I'm, I'm in the middle of the road. I'm okay but come on. And you know he's trying to rush to get there. And cars are like honking and shit. And I'm like what dude. I, my, my car cut off. Like are you serious. And you can see some people look like they were sympathetic and was trying to uh, move carefully. I mean, I don't have a big car. I have a Toyota. So it, it, had, it had stopped just at the area where I could, um, <laughs> where I was in the yellow and I wasn't really, I think I was in the other part just a little bit. So it wasn't too bad. A cop came kind of quickly within the next minute or two. And my husband came and another guy was that was I guess lived in the neighborhood. They helped push my car to the other side where we lived and then I was able to just um leave it in the grass and then I was able to get it uh told and find out what happened. Turned out that I needed to um tune up but I didn't know what was going on. That was just one of the scariest things of my life. And I'm just glad it wasn't in the main road and cars weren't coming fast because everywhere you drive I think people drive like a nut. <laughs> I was very blessed that nothing happened to my car and it stopped right in the area where they could easily, you know, move it to the other side. So that was one of the scariest things that ever happened to me. Um, number two, what famous person do people tell you that you most resemble? Okay, I haven't really had too many people tell me I look like somebody famous. I did have this one lady tell me this. She told me I look like Fantasia, the singer from the American Idol fame. And who has um, all the hits out? Fantasia Barino. I don't think I look like Fantasia. I mean, I don't think she's an ugly girl or nothing like that. But I don't think I look like her. I, maybe it's the hair. Because I think I had my hair like this when I was, uh, when the lady said that to me. She was a white lady too. And I was like, I don't look like no Fantasia. She's like, well, no, that's a compliment. I, I really think you look like Fantasia. I'm like, okay. But anyway, y'all, that's what, that's what she said. Tan, don't say I look like no Fantasia. I don't look like Fantasia, okay? All right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> number three, if you could meet one person alive or dead that you have never met, who would it be? Y'all know who it is, right? Y'all that's been, that's been on my channel and has been following me a little bit, 
Y'all know who it is. Yep. Michael Jackson. That's the one person I wish I could have met. Um, I would give anything to have met him. I think he was a great singer, a great entertainer, a great dancer. I, th I think he was a wonderful person. And I would have given anything just to have actually met him and looked him in his eyes and said, you know, I'm a big fan of yours. I love your music. I think you're a sweet person. I just want to tell you that. And if, yeah, if I could have got a hug from him, it would have been great too. I would have had at least hugged the man. <sighs> Plus, he was fine as hell, so yeah. So I, that's the one person I would have liked to meet. And hopefully, if I would have met him, I wouldn't have passed out or fainted or anything like that. I don't, I'm not that kind of person, but I do get nervous. I have met a few famous people in my life for like a few minutes and I, I get nervous but I, can, but I can hold it together but yeah that's the one person I wish I could have met Michael Jackson um number four what cheers you up okay um really if I'm really down now it ain't a lot that can cheer me up but if I had to think of like one or two things it would be like if I was watching a show that I'm used to looking at like Martin something that's really funny that could really get me out of my mood Martin or the Cosby Show, something that I've seen in the past that was really one of my favorite shows and it was on TV and I was to look at it, that would cheer me up. That or a stand-up comedy show and it most likely would have to be a show that I've already seen. You know, not nothing new because I like uh, stand-up comedy too. But it would probably be something like the Martin Show or the Cosby Show that I would look at that would cheer me up. Okay, uh, number five, if you had to be trapped in a TV show for a month, which would you choose? <laughs> okay, um, Tan actually took my answer <laughs> and she said, Martin, Tan, what do you know about Martin, girl? You didn't grow up on no Martin. You didn't grow up on no Martin. You know, I'm just messing with you, boo. But, um, that's the show that I would have picked, Martin, because Martin to me was so funny and so out there. It was ghetto, but ghetto in a, in a good, funny, clean way. And I loved that show. When Martin came on, I was in high school, so... Um, it was just one of the best times to watch that kind of show. It was just so hilarious. So that's the show I would pick. Now, since Tan did pick that, I want to name another show too. And I think somebody else named this, but I haven't seen their video. I just saw her make the comment. Another show I would want, I would want to be in is the Cosby Show. I thought that was a great show. Almost every show that they had, they they did, I loved. I remember it now, like it's yesterday. I remember some of the um show by heart. So, that's another show I would love to be in. I like Claire and Cliff being doctor, lawyer, black family, educated, had, and, the, and the show was good, had some serious moments, but very funny. It was really good and very original to me, a lot of shows that they, that they did, the episodes. So, even now when I go back, I can, I can always watch a Cosby show and enjoy it to its fullest. So, that would have been the second show that I would have wanted to be on since... Um, I did hear Tan say Martin, but Martin and then the Cosby Show, okay? Um, number six. What did you do for your latest birthday? Aw. Oh. Alright, y'all. Uh, I didn't really advertise this that, that much on YouTube. I only told a few people, but my birthday was actually last month. It was like a month and a day from now. It was uh, September 23rd. Um, and yeah, it was on a Sunday. So... What we did on my birthday is what we normally do. Um, my mother and my husband took me out for dinner. We went to the Outback. And I had my food. I had a good chance to talk. You know what was so funny is that the Outback people actually got a chance to, to sing Happy Birthday to me. And I've been trying to get somebody to do that for me for <laughs> for at least four or five years. I'm like, I want somebody to sing Happy Birthday to me. Because we always go out to eat on my birthday. And I want people to... You know, sing happy birthday to me. So we finally got them to sing. I didn't think they were going to do it because the lady tried to play it off. Like, oh, it's your birthday. Oh, that's nice. And I'm like, they better sing happy birthday. And they did. So they did that. And um, we went back to my mom's house. And she bought me a cake. She always buys me a cake. So she bought me a birthday cake. And I ate that. And we just watched TV. The worst thing about it was that I was so tired and so sleepy. I didn't get a chance to really enjoy it like I wanted to. But I still had a good time. You know, it was a lot of slip-ups, you know. I didn't get a chance to watch the Michael Jackson concert because um, we were having problems with our TV and I didn't want to watch on a small TV. So I waited for that and I was just like, ugh, this is just not working out right. But I still really got a chance to enjoy myself. Um, my mother got me cars. My husband made me a car, which was really nice. And I got a few little 
gifts here and there. So it was really nice. I had a good time. So that's what I got a chance to do for my birthday. And I went to bed really early because I was tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep. So that was another bad thing. But you know, again, like I said, all in all, I had a nice birthday. <laughs> <laughs> considering I didn't get a chance to do some of the stuff I really really wanted to do but it was nice um number seven if you had to be named after a city state or country which would you want it to be well I'm a very humble person so if somebody was to really name something after me and I had to choose between the three we can we can do a city a city is fine with me city is cool so it would be a city um Number eight, what is the most memorable class you have ever taken? Well, there's been a few. I have to say the one that's really been memorable to me for a lot of different reasons now is um, I went to school to be a computer graphic designer at a um, vocational school. And some of the programs was different things dealing with graphic design. One was video editing. So my most memorable class in graphic design, I have to say, was video editing. I loved it. I thought it was great. It taught me so much. That's my creative eye. And I feel like even now, I'm so creative in doing video editing. If like somebody gave me the opportunity, I would just, I don't want to say I would blow them away, but I think I would be great at it. So I haven't gotten experience to really do it, except for YouTube videos and just things I did in class. So I would... That was my most memorable class, video editing. I love it, love it, love it. It brings out the creativeness in me, and I just, I truly love it. So that's the most memorable class. Um, no more phone, then just do this. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, number nine. What is your favorite commercial? Okay, y'all. I have so many that I love. It's two that I thought of off the top of my head. So here's one that I really did. I really do love and it's a liquid it's a liquid plumber commercial <laughs> this white lady um her somebody rings her doorbell so she answers the doorbell and one and there's two men standing together one man says hi I'm here to snake your drain and the other one says hi I'm here to um, fix your pipes and so you see her uh, take this red thing and, and, and put it into her sink you see two guys like standing there watching her and <laughs> <laughs> the man with the sexy voice that's doing the voice over is talking about the liquid plumber and then you see her pour the liquid drain stuff in and you hear the guy with the sexy voice talking again and then um, he just talks about how the liquid plumber works the drain and clogs it and makes it all good and then most of the time what they do is they cut the commercial short they don't show the commercial the way they should if you see the, the complete commercial after the guy is talking You'll see the lady in the grocery store with the liquid plumber kind of like smelling it like this. And you see the one guy that was at her door, you know, uh, doing something with, with, some, with some meat or something. And then you see the other guy like winking at her and rubbing a cantaloupe. And so supposedly that was her dream that they would come and help her. But like I say in the, in the commercial, you don't even see them do anything. You see her doing it all and they're just standing there looking at her. <laughs> so that was hilarious that she had this dream in the grocery store like that so I wish they would show it all the way through but they don't I don't know why they don't do that they are stupid but that's the whole complete commercial so that's one of my favorite commercials um number 10 would you be willing to lie to a court for a close friend if it meant saving your friend from going to jail for life um I don't know y'all like Tan said you know you're supposed to tell the truth and you don't want to you don't want to purge yourself and really do something like that and lie but um i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna like take her answer because that this is really how i feel if i feel like it's something that he really needs to he or she really needs to go to jail for life for like they really did something wrong then no i ain't gonna lie for you because if you deserve to go to jail for life you just gonna have to go to jail for life if it's something i really think you didn't do I would really have to think about it. Now, if I know for a fact you didn't do it, then, yeah, I probably would lie. And I know that's, you know, I would lie if I know for a fact you didn't do it. But if I'm not sure, I don't know what I would do. Because, like I said, that's that's a tough one if you have to go to jail for life. I hope that if I have to go to court like that, I would know that you did it or you or the evidence is just stacked upon you and you just like, you just guilty and I know you did and no, I'm not going to lie for you. And I would hate to have to lie to court, lie in court. But if I really thought you didn't do it, then I probably would lie. But if I know you did it, and, and it was worth lying, 
worth going to jail for life, then I'm sorry I wouldn't lie. So that's my answer. It just depends on what you did and if I think you really did do it. <laughs> um, number 11, if you could have personally witnessed anything, what would you want to have seen? Okay, this one's kind of a weird question, kind of, because it could be any different. I guess it's, it's a real open-ended question. I'm going to say this one because this is the only thing I can really think of off the top of my head that I would really want to witness. And I know y'all going to laugh, but that's okay. Well, Michael Jackson won all those Grammys in 1984, and he was on the Grammy Awards. I wish that I could have actually been there in the audience to see that. I didn't even see that on television because when it came on, I didn't know that the Grammy was coming on. I, my mother did not know, I don't think. She wouldn't let me stay up to watch it. And then when I came back to class, to school the next day, they were like, oh, did you see Michael Jackson won all those awards? And I was like, no. They are like, he won. He won. He was on TV. And when I came home, I saw a dog on TV, and I was like, oh, man. So, that was like a a record-breaking thing. So, that's something I wish I could have seen. To see him actually win the awards, and he was very thankful, and he had the shades on, and he took them off, and everybody was clapping. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen that, because that was a great a accomplishment, achievement that he won. And Quincy Jones was happy as well. So... That would have been something I would have been that I would have wanted to witness if I could. Okay, number twelve. Um, what question do you hate to answer? Okay, it's a few. This is the one that sticks out in my head the most. Um, okay, I'm thirty-seven. I don't, I don't think I said that earlier. I'm, th I'm thirty-seven. Just turned thirty-seven in September, and. People have asked me in the past, do I have any kids? And I'll say no. And the next thing they'll say is, do you want to have kids? And I'll say no. Next question, why Why don't you want to have kids? And that's the question I hate because I hate trying to tell people every time. And my answer is, is that I just never, I never saw myself being a mother. I don't hate kids. I don't dislike children or anything like that. I just never had that mother you know, uh, intuition or that mother feel to, to say, I really wanted to be a mother and have children. I always wanted to be married, <laughs> but I never wanted to have kids. And I felt like that ever since I was um, a teenager, like 12 and 13 years old. And no, I haven't been molested. No, I haven't been raped. No, I haven't been abused. No, no kids done anything to me to make me say, I just don't want to have children. Because some people might think, oh, well, Maybe that's why she don't want to have kids. And I say, no, I just never had that desire. Um, if I could have one kid, like you could snap your finger and have a, ch a child, I would. But that's wishful thinking. But I never wanted to have children. And that was the reason. No more, no less. And when I was getting ready to get married, that's what everybody asked me. Oh, we know you don't got no kids. So you're going to have some kids? No. Oh, you're not going to have no kids. You need to have at least one kid. I'm like, no kids. Stop freaking asking me no kids okay leave it alone I'm old anyway I don't want to have no children okay you got your little three your two your five cool everybody don't have to have kids you know my life is not going to be incomplete if I don't have children but you can't but most people don't understand that some people I think understood some people were just like uh, you're going to have a kid I'm like okay well we'll see in the next seven or eight years right okay you know, and that's it. And and that's just it because so many people asked me right after I got married and right before I got married. And I was just like, ugh, I don't want to have any children. And I've been married for two years. So, like I said, it was really bad right, right after I got married. But that's the one question that I hate to answer. All right, y'all. So, that's the end of the questions. Um, again, I'm going to leave the questions below so that you can see them for yourself. Now, anybody that has not done this tag and you're watching me do this video, if you would like to do this tag please do so and if you do if I'm not subscribed to you or even if I am you know leave me a comment below on my channel or inbox me and let me know that you did the video so I can watch it okay and just let me know that you did it because of me <laughs> alright everybody that is the end of my video see something. oh my god this is so long I'm sorry <laughs> y'all know I can talk but anyway um that's the end of my video. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, <clears throat> I hope you have a good day and a good evening. And y'all take care. And until the next time, 
I hope to see you soon. All right. All right, everybody. That's it. Y'all take care. Bye.